in the previous verse, Sri Raghunathas had served Swamini her drinking water. I will repeat the verse one more time. O oh, Devi, Goddess, when can I, while you are eating, lovingly and attentively, light a lot of nicely fragrant incense? Fan you or render other services appropriate for that moment. O oh. oh, Devi, Goddess, when can I, while you are eating, lovingly and attentively light a lot of nicely fragrant incense fan you or render other services appropriate for that moment one thing i want to In that moment, I will serve different. And what is the necessary, appropriate, that I will do. I no need to ask from you, because I know what you like that time. This is inner connection of manjari. Last time we did this. Last word. While you are eating, when can I lovingly and attentively light a lot of nice? Mm. I think. Go on. Huh? Read. When can I, while you are eating, lovingly and attentively, Light a lot of nicely fragrant incense. Fan you or render other services appropriate for that moment. In the previous verse, Sri Raghunathas had served Swamini her drinking water and her mouth water after she had finished relishing Krishna's nectarian food remnants with her girlfriends. And now, he sees himself offering incense to her and fanning her. Recording in progress. His mind was so absorbed 
in Srimati's relishing Krishna's lip nectar that he only became aware of his service of offering incense during her meal after she had already washed her mouth. His mind was so absorbed in Srimati's relishing Krishna's lip nectar that he only became aware of his service of offering incense during her meal after she had already washed her mouth. What is the place there in Krishna's realm? Uh, was heißt das über überlassen? Remnants. Remnants. What is the meaning of this remnants? What is Swamini tasting there? What the manjari is tasting. And the manjaris, they are getting what I see in this Gurudev. That what is Krishna feeling. They get this in their mouths and check what is the need of Krishna. What is he like? They can taste it in his leftovers from food. They re relish what he desires in the left of his prasadam. So they can prepare after the meal, exactly what is his desire. They check it by the taste of the food, what he put in his mouth. Yeah. So it was coming from Krishna to Swamini to the Manjari, yes? Was <coughs> First Krishna took the prasadam and then he gave it to Swamini and the Mandaris. He put his feelings in that prasadam. Jainanda, Radhe Radhe. Yes, this is very beautiful. I was meditating. So, Swamini is tasting Mohan's feeling, Mohan's love. And then Swamini tasting, the Manjari tasting, <coughs> Radha's feeling also, <laughs> Radha's love for Mohan. So, Manjari could taste both feeling like a manjari watching in kunja and little bit followed like little bit some you know some space then manjari could see all the pastime all the reaction and feeling what the face in indicate so this this one is through coming through by this lips. In Kunja, we see eye, but this, this lips, lips business. <laughs> <laughs> this is very sweet. Gorasandar's explanation is so sweet. <laughs> Yeah, 
He's mind, Raghunath's mind was so absorbed in Srimati's relishing Krishna's lip nectar that he only became aware of his service of offering incense during her meal after she had already washed her mouth. Why, why she washed her mouth? <laughs> what is the importance on this? Rana Sanaya, some idea? Honestly, to say, I don't have an idea. Why she would? It it's yeah. just, a, as I see, it's just a procedure outside. Mm of different things which are going on after eating, during the eating, but I don't know the deeper meaning of washing the mouth. I think the Yeah? Yeah. He has rendered his service at the proper time. But because of his ecstatic love, the succession of services experienced in transcendental visions was broken. Whenever Raghunath perceives some devotional service, he prays for it to Swamini's lotus feet. Therefore, the succession of services is sometimes disturbed. The same thing happened with Sri Shukadev Muni. Out of ecstasy, he first told King Parikshit the story of Krishna's killing Tenukasura, in which was mentioned that Krishna had reached the Pauganda age, over five years old. And then he told the story of Krishna's defeating the Kaliya snake, which happened when Krishna was still Kumara, under five years old. That shows how elevated the speakers of these books, Srimad Bhagavata and Vilapa Kusumanjali are. The self-manifest pastimes are here in control and not the narrators. So, Burda, we can see here how Raghunath was absorbed in his seva. Wow that he was doing, he was specifically absorbed in one seva. But in the same time, he continued to do the other sevas. But yeah. he was not aware 
that he is doing this normal according to the time other sevas because in his mind he was always absorbed in this particular one when he is offering the incense wow. so baba is explaining here actually that this can happen because of the desire of the lila and not of someone who is narrate who is writing because he is depending on the lila not according to his desire and to his will and we can see in a uh, vaishnava literatures it can happen that sometimes Vaishnava is writing something and out of ecstasy, they just jump over some normal procedure and speaking or writing some other things. Because they are not speaking from the mind, they are not speaking from their, their bodily consciousness, sadakvesh, they are always in the flow and actually they are not depend on this proper time minutes and in that way they're expressing their deep feelings and this is the proof that they are not speaking or writing like anyone who is on material platform and we sadhakas, when we are reading or listening this, sometimes maybe we can be confused. And uh, Baba is mentioning here Maharaj Parikshit, who said that Krishna first killed the Adenukas. Yeah, but actually, in some kind of reality, <laughs> it was opposite. He killed him later on. But because Parishit Maharaj is deeply absorbed in Lila, he's in the flow of emotions <clears throat> of Lila. He couldn't resist, he just spoke what was in his heart and in his heart lila was speaking not time so we can see that transcendental time is quite expensive a lot of extensions are present and we cannot put it together in our three dimensions according to the three gunas but why we are speaking this and why Baba is mentioning this because we want he wants to, according to my understanding, he wants to point out that bhajan must be spontaneous and devotee who is practicing bhajan has to leave everything, all control mm -hmm. in the hands, in the flow. Lila's desire. This is the deep subject. We can be applied in many things, in mantras even. But I just wanted to say this. Maybe someone can add. Well, Yes, they say it's self manifest. No, Baba uses the word. The half times the limas are self manifest. So they come out of their own sweet will in our hearts, our minds, and in the speaker's tongue. Mm. And they are in control. They are, they are, it's rather in Mohan. They come in their lilas, they come in the 
in their sweet mercy forms of past times, and they let us serve them. The celestial Ganga stream of nectarian pastimes spontaneously flows from the tongues of their saintly narrators. This means that we desperately need association of such sadhus, such devotees, on whose tongue the stream of transcendental pastimes are just flowing and flowing like a strong streams of Ganges. And where is the source of this Ganges? In the heart. <laughs> of Rasik devotee and it's coming out through the mouth. This is, a, we say in Germany, where the heart is full of, it is flowing from the tongue. Yeah. Yeah. And these words from these personalities can change our heart. Yeah. And is tall the source of this specific Ganges river in our hearts. Yeah. Oh. Sri Narada Muni told King Prachina Barhi, O oh, King, a stream of the quintessence of nectar in the form of narrations of Sri Krishna's pastimes flow from the mouth of the great saints and those who insatiably drink this nectar with their deeply absorbed ears will not be touched by feelings of hunger, thirst, fear, lamentation, or delusion. O oh, King, a stream of the quintessence of nectar in the form of narrations of Sri Krishna's pastimes flows from the mouths of the great saints and those who insatiably drink this nectar with their deeply absorbed ears will not be touched by feelings of hunger, thirst, fear, lamentation, or delusion. So we can hear what is the proper way of listening.
such sublime personalities. And it must be, person must be thirsty, greedy. We say greedy. Because without greed, Sadaka cannot drink through the ears, through the eyes, through all senses, to the mouth. Greed is something which gives potency for everything. Even in materialistic life, we persons manifest this greed. This is the part of human being. And uh, knowing that perfectly, Acharyas are advising that we just this greed direct to the ultimate goal. And that greed will help us to practice Shravana, Kirtana, Smarana, and all other processes which are recommended in Navadhi Bhakti. So greed is the force for Smarana, we can say, and Smarana, this Bhajana, is the force for the soul. And secondary thing is that because of such kind of hearing, devotee will not feel hunger, thirst, fear, lamentations or delusion and so on and so on. But this is just a secondary thing. This is not the goal of devotee, to be free from this. The goal of devotee is to relish his seva and to be absorbed mm. in his ishtadu. Mm. Shri Jiva Goswami comments as follows on this verse. The glories of the Lord that emanate from the mouths of the great souls are self-manifest and they remove all feelings of hunger, thirst, fear, lamentation, and delusion, making the hearer experience his own bliss. <laughs> so we can see here with the that the words of great souls are coming from their mouth spontaneously, like a self-manifest, in the same manner like Lila is appearing. They are not preparing lectures, they are not putting the notes, <laughs> structure of the lecture, beginning, middle, and the end. They are just strategy. They are just speaking according to the will of their Ishtadev. Mm. And in the same way, Lila appears in their heart and their mind through the Smarana, through the Bhajan. Gurudev, what is the meaning of this? that these self-manifest glories 
coming spontaneously from the great souls, that this makes the people who hear those stories experience their own bliss. That's the point. This is what we say, this self-manifesting, self-realized, the, how depth you are, you see that. Self, more deep realization. I can I give you one example. One day, Jananda Maharaj in class is telling from Uttar Pradesh. One past time. <coughs> Radha Kundbath. Then I think that time, why he is uh, giving this class, uh, this time from that, we are practicing from uh, Vilak Kusumandari and Radha Rasurani. So, is a, is, a, is a Rupa Goswami to understand is very difficult for the business. Why? Because is a, Sakhi Bhav is also there and Manjiri Bhav is also there. So what to catch, they will not understand. But I listened that past time. It was really two days I am in meditation after that. When I listened the past time, it is in Sakiva because Kundalata, Kundalata, Jananda Maharaj, is a Kundalata. Na? The main Sakhi, who is the group of Krishna, Kundalatana. Yes. Yes. That this Kundalata is making one game today that who will win, win they will take the kiss. Uh, other has to give the kiss. And in this game, without understanding, everybody say yes, 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 yes. And they ask Radhika, Radhika, yes, yes. After giving yes, she realized what I say, what I give the promises. Mm. I, have, I have to go for kissing to Krishna. If I win, oh, if, if I lose, then Krishna will kiss me in the front of all Sakis and Gopis. I said yes. He was very shocked, but she said yes. She cannot change herself. Play start. And the manjari bring very thin clothes for her because it's a bath clothes, bathroom clothes. Only it is this white, white thin clothes. She wears that. And Radharani wears this clothes. And the, the play starts. When the play starts, then because this thing close, she brings. So she has to wear because one cloth is so thin that it's transparent. 
she has swear that the place charge in water and she she lose the place because krishna so much throwing water said so it was to give her to him and when her chance come to throw the water for krishna he is throwing water but not in ice but krishna is throwing water in ice all right so in ice and this way she lose the game radha and this now win the game because he her eyes become totally red at this now the chance that she lose the game so all sakis was so happy that krishna win the game and when this happened then krishna came and want to kiss then she said no 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 and and krishna is doing catching and drink. and the sakis and gopis are clapping oh krishna we krishna we krishna then sakis gopis are so happy you cannot imagine this was very clear to me that everyone is happy right really it's happening right but one manjari is sitting in the soul of uh, heart so that you know of, of radha kun other manjari went there then after um rati manjari krishna in the game you know clapping is you don't see that my radhika vindati all are looking and seeing that krishna win the game and you manjari cannot see that krishna win the game and radha rani looks he says no you don't see that radhika win the game Who did take time to me, Jananda Maharaj, to go in this past time? So I am sharing this. Radhika Vindhagi. Yes. So Radhika Vindhagi. Is so that how you say that Radhika Vindhagi? All are clapping for Krishna, and you say Radhika Vindhagi. We don't see that. So can you explain? <laughs> in the front radhika is very difficult in his friend front to kiss to krishna it's very difficult for her you don't know they all are want kiss from krishna they are krishna bhaktas 
So if I say that I will win and I have to kiss to Krishna, impossible for me to in the front of everyone to take this kiss. <laughs> so she not to lose the game, she win the game. She win the game. Because this Krishna can do. If I will stop, he will do. But if Krishna says, no, I cannot do that. You know, and to do for the for the beloved in the front of other means there is no love. So, so she went again. I can watch it. And you know, why not he throw the water? If she is throwing the water to Krishna, so all Sakhir are the friends, so they are also throwing water. And she don't want to give the pain to Krishna. Mm -hmm. Because she, she wants to keep the eyes open that today you, I bring, Manjari say, I bring very thin food. Why I drink when she will go in water? Then this is the Chant to see Krishna very clearly. Every so she not put the water to keep my food desire also. That finally wish I have to fulfill. So so I not throw the water because I have to care. Hear you. You want to see this that Krishna see. After taking bath with the team close to me, so I know through water the eye, and he can see nicely to me. So I know through the water, and others, as he can be happy, and others will be happy that Krishna win, and I want um, Asamni want to win Krishna. Then she can deny. You see, she denied. She enjoyed in denying in the front of this. <laughs> that is the winner of Radhika. You don't see that? My Swami is always winner. Manjari say she never lose the game. She win. Keeping my feeling also, keeping Krishna wish also, and your wish also, um, Manjari's wish also. So she is so much managing. Wow, Jananda, I love you, my dear. <laughs> Two days, three days, I am talking. Rati Manjari, <laughs> she's explaining every day new things to me. Wow, thank you. First, I meditate in Sakhi Bhav and I see different things. When I went to Rati Manjari in the show and I asked what you see, then she's explaining. Thank you. You, so I want to is to stop you to to glorify you. How beautiful you explain that. Thank you. <laughs> this is my <laughs> Maharaj. No, 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 no. This, this is, I'm not saying. I I don't know what what I'm talking, Gurudev. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. By by your mercy, somehow that I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so much relishing when I see the reason 
of such peace. Go, please. Now you give me a chance to go and ask to receive that from their reason. And I'm going everywhere to feel it. Because Manjari can go to Gopis also, right? Yes. And to Sakt also. And to the Manjari's also. And to Shami. Manjari's <laughs> <laughs> can go, right? Yes. He's a dark, modest dark speech to run. So, yeah. So this, everything is beautiful. It's all depend upon person to person, that's it, how he sees the things. And this step. And we shall come to looking at the Thank you. Go on, go on. <laughs> the books of the Acharyas are like the twanging of the strings of their hearts. Yeah, that. Make me to share that. Changing ones? Playing? Yeah. Tuning. Yeah. Tuning. When they play the was is sounding. Guitar and you're changing. So this sound is changing. From their heart. After the yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the books of the Acharyas are like the twanging of the strings of their hearts that are like stringed instruments. Wow. Wow. <laughs> the devotee will tune his heart into the tune of those stringed instruments. Wow. Yeah. Actually, Gurudev, this is uh, we are tuning our dasi is tuning. In the heart of Radharani, Swamini's desire. Yeah. And we that the point, my dear. This is our tuning. My daughter Sundar says, I have no deviation. Ego is deviating me. My body is deviating me. My senses are deviating me. My qualification and knowledge is deviating me. But no deviation. You cannot deviate my German God Asuntara. No, <laughs> this was the testing. This is the testing if, if we can deviate. <laughs> One day. I am start 
deviate. In class, you have to deviate sometimes. He, he, he was sitting in the room, he go out. He don't want to listen that. <laughs> this is it. You are asking us. No, go on. Yes. <laughs> so our tuning will deviate, then song will not come. Mm -hmm. The instrument will not play. Hmm. So our manjari bhav has to be fixed. Then we go with the Leela Amrita. No problem. Hmm. Then we all other books of Rupa Swami. If you not understand his disciple, how you will understand the Guru? Oh, you will understand. If you want to know about the Guru, you see the disciple, then you assess Guru will be like this. Right? So if you want to see Rupa Goswami, you have to know Rati Manjari, Ratna Rupa. Raghunath Das Goswami, then you will understand Rupa Goswami. Right? Right, Suniti? Yes. Right, Saranga Sundara? Yes, we're there. Yeah. So, without Rupa, we will not come. <laughs> Yeah, please. Um, Sri Shruka Muni said, The Gopikas of Braja asked Uttava about Krishna in private. Sri Jiva Goswami then asked, How can there be any question of confidential inquiry when there are millions of gopis around? The same tune in the taking bath in Radhakun. Yes, go on. <laughs> the same tune resounds on all their stringed instrument like hearts. This place is inaccessible to those who have a different mood. Therefore, it is called a private, solitary place. On the strength of one-pointed devotion, all other moods will subside and the devotee will get the same desires as the acharyas. Radhe, maybe we can stop here because yeah, yeah. explain how much important is Sajatya Sangha. Yeah. Sajatya Sangha doesn't really depend on the number of devotees, but depends on the tune, same tune in the hearts of devotees. And sometimes we have uh, 
concept that confidential topic has to be exchanged in a private eye to eye situation between two, three persons. But we can see here the power of same tune that it can be all orchestra of thousands and thousands, same tuning devotees. And they feel same bhava, they talk from the angle of same bhava, and they relishing the same bhava and they exchange the same bhava. So, Ananta Das Babaji is giving this example uh, from Bhagavatam or where? Yeah, from yes, Bhagavatam. Yes. And this is Rahasya, actually, the top secret. Wow. <laughs> top secret can be exchanged between thousands and thousands on the one pointed persons who have the same tune or same bhava. Mm. Yeah. Beautiful. So this is the need for us to always be in the association of devotees in the same mood, not with this mixed or confusing mood. <laughs> Because the Sangha can be Asat, yeah. wrong Sangha, and can be proper Sangha. Mm -hmm. And this Sangha is very <clears throat> important because values are exchanging through the Sangha. I, I'm not sure that sometimes we are completely aware about this. But this moment of manovrit, what we are talking about, mentality, is very much under the influence of Sangha. And we are building this manovrit circle of our specific thoughts, feelings, conclusions, values, under the influence of Sangha mm -hmm. in society, outside, in society of devotees. So this is recommendation from all Acharyas to choose a Sangha according to desirable bhav. Mm -hmm. Uh, Rupa and Ragunatas are absorbed in their bhajan. Yeah. <clears throat> they yeah. say that is what Gurudev just said, no? That you can see what the disciple uh, what what the what the guru is when you see the disciple. Actually, they are they are one. If there is a real relationship, then there is no difference. They have same bar. And what you said, Gurudev, that if you like to know the, the Guru, you have to see the disciple. Right? Yeah. And if there is no closeness, they become from heart separate, then mm. different. Yeah. It's a hard business. Mm. It's not that you have to pressure, you have to make some condition, uh -huh. you have some rule for that. It's a hard business. If the tuning is not good, tuning means guru and disciple tuning. Some disciple is training his own way, not mm. in the systematic way of the thread, then he is 
training is wrong. It is wrong way. His way, not a system of the training, right? So his right. training means he changed his training from his guru. Yeah. Means yeah. Rati Manjari always is trained with Rupa Manjari, but if I know train with my guru there, then with my training, right? Mm. I don't want to listen him. I don't want to what is navigator. I have to follow his words. This is mm. navigator. Navigation, no, I, follow I, follow. I want to follow false ego. I reject you and I want to be happy with my false ego. <laughs> I don't want to, because you are only navigator, right? <laughs> <laughs> only is a, what you say? Compass. Why I will follow you, yeah? It's a compass. <laughs> <laughs> to follow. My ego to follow, my dear. Why to follow compass? No, compass say only one way. And I, my ego say many ways. So this is a good compass. My ego is a good compass than this one way compass. I will do my way. Okay, my dear. <laughs> so I remove one thing not ready to treat <laughs> in the way of treating. So instrument will not give good sound. No. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everything will be out of tune. Yeah. Out of tune. That is the right. Because you are the best magician, you know better. <laughs> you have to tune or not? Yes. Before we playing? Have. Yes. <laughs> we are tuning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Rupa and Raghunathas are absorbed in their bhajan. They sang Radha and Krishna's glories 22 hours a day and always remembered them. The remaining two hours, they would sleep. But even then, they dreamt of Radha Krishna. In this way, they did not waste any time. Srila Jiva Goswami has listed all the different obstacles that may weaken the devotee's bhajan. Crookedness, faithlessness, becoming absorbed in things that have nothing to do with Krishna, and that cause one to fall down from the path of bhajan. Weakness in bhajan and pride of one's bhajan. Mm. When the devotee is unable to give up these shortcomings despite the very powerful influence of association with the great saints. 
and the process of devotional service itself, then it must be understood that offenses to the holy name and crookedness have found their place in the heart. Yeah, uh, many have to find this. Go on. This is not our job. It's Who has no it? Check it. He has to improve it. If not, then they will stay there. Go on. If no offense was committed in the present life, then they must have been committed in a previous birth. Therefore, Sri Narottam Thakur sings, I could not purify my mind by listening to the nectarian discussions of the saints because I have committed offenses. When the devotee becomes free from his offensive attitude by the mercy of the saints, he gets real tastes and cannot live without bhajan anymore. Yeah. Then his bhajan swiftly reaches perfection. Yeah. All the enemies of lust and greed will be conquered. The heart will become blissful and I will easily worship Govinda. Full of love, Sri Raghunath offers incense to Srimati and fans her. And when the vision vanishes, he prays. O oh, Sri Radhike, O oh, my mistress, Please fulfill my desires. Let me very carefully offer you fragrant incense when you are eating in your dining room. Let me blissfully look at you and fan you with a yak tail fan while you are enjoying your meal. Oh, Devi, Goddess, when can I? While you are eating, lovingly and attentively, light a lot mm -hmm. of nicely fragrant incense. Ban you or render other services appropriate for that moment. It's a yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Đầu cứ chạy xuyên. <cười> oh Devi, Goddess, when can I, while you are eating, lovingly? And attentively light a fan you or render other services appropriate for that moment. Brother, from this words we can see in real example. What does it mean to serve from the emotions, not because of rituals? And offering instances. Gurudev, you are muted. Loud voice is not coming for no. under. Okay. Uh, we can see from this verse, Gurudev. Mm -hmm. This difference between spontaneous service with deep attachment and the service from the duty, like rituals. Right. Raghunath is meditating. Oh. Raghunath is meditating, and actually, he is present by the will of Radhika in this moment. And he is offering fragrant instances, but he is not accounting two times around the leg, <laughs> three times around the head, or whatever number. No, he wants to give her a pleasure after eating, because this instance is remembering our Radhika on the previous pastime. And I feel this is a flavor. 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 The smell. Mm. The person who can cross that way, they will feel that flavor. That one. No? Yeah. The flavor they exchange the mouth to mouth. Krishna say, so Radhe, something is very special in my mouth. <laughs> you like to take? He said, okay, give me. He said, bring your mouth. Then he, she, Radha Krishna gave from his mouth to Radhika's mouth. Okay. <laughs> this exchange of love, the manjari is what? Mm -hmm. Krishna showed Radhika that that I am relishing so much. Are you like too interested for that? <laughs> and Radhika also is watching every place. In this room, there is some other one of only my mind. Then she said, Come here. Come, I, I want to give you some. And she catch the mouth, and she give from her mouth to Manjari. But not publicly. Hmm. This 
flavor Manjari want to give. You understand? This is the flavor. This is the taste of Radhika from the flavor of Krishna. And what my Swami gave to in me that flavor she want to. Mm -hmm. Perfumed. You also come in this place. Please join in this flavor. This is Radha Dasi Prema makes Krishna dance. You see. Makes the devotees dance and dances itself. Ah. All That's three it. are dancing oh, at oh, one time. <laughs> again, again, the three oh, yes, times. Yes, yes. <laughs> Prema makes Krishna dance, makes the devotee dance, <laughs> and dances itself. Prema make Krishna dance. Yeah, you miss this last word. <laughs> Prema make first Krishna dance. Uh -huh. <laughs> right or not? Right. And when Kodi see the Krishna, they start <laughs> dancing. And Prema dance itself also, it herself. Yeah. They all dance. Where? At all three are dancing at one place. Yeah, that's the point. One place. Three are dancing. That flavor, Prati Manjari want to perfume. No, no, that. That. Uh, many times she put this perfume. Why? I Are mean, this time, not next time you will perfume. I Are mean, not this next time, other time perfume. <laughs> but perfume, yeah. This is the perfume. <laughs> this is the real flavor to live and be a man. Which flavor you are living? Why you are living in? Stinky flavor. Quiero hacer una pregunta. Um, she has one question, Guru. Mm. Te vota. Quiero yeah. hacer una pregunta, Guru. Sí, puede preguntar. ¿Cuál es los... este sabor? Este sabor que que siente Radha cuando Krishna le le da de su boca. Si es dulce, si es salado, quiero, me gustaría imaginarme qué qué sabor es, cómo es ese sabor. Um, she's she's asking which is the taste that Radharani is tasting when Krishna is giving her something directly from his mouth. She wants to meditate on. More, more precisely on the taste, she wants to know if it's sweet or salty or sour. How is the taste? Hare Krishna is giving something, but Radhika is giving different taste. To All the tastes, what Krishna like when Radhika gives. That flavor. And Radhika, what giving? Manjiris are watching which flavor, which time Radhika is giving to Krishna. Then who can see this? What is happening 
Krishna is giving flavor to Radha. Uh, Radhika is giving flavor to Krishna. That way, you have to be a Radha Dasi. Then you can understand how this flavor action without how you will know that flavor idea. That is to be a Radha Dasi. To understand who is exchanging which flavor and how is the flavor test. Right? right? Even the gopi cannot understand that flavor. Yeah, what about us? <laughs> yeah, too much out from that flavor. <laughs> right, Gauranga Sutta? Gopis cannot. <laughs> if we are in the sadhak, how we will understand that flavor? Are my Gora Sundra, where you are, my dear? He's hiding. <laughs> this flavor, Gurudev, actually, this story starts when the manjari is preparing in Radha's kitchen mm. this food for Krishna. They are controlling the whole situation. Together with Swamini, there is a, this is like what you explain with the water in the eyes of Krishna. It looks that Krishna is the controller, but they control the situation. They put the ingredients in the morning in the food. Everything is controlled by them. In the kitchen. Then they put it. And then the whole bath is in this food and Krishna is tasting it. And then when they take the food, the prasadam, they are preparing for Krishna. And it is not that he is eating it in the noontime, in the, in the, but it is a preparing for the meeting in the night. So he gets the bath for the night time, and he responds with his mouth in their mouth. There is a continuously, the whole day is, is, is one Leela, and night time is the fulfillment, and this is what we are looking for. Uh, this is Prem. This point. <laughs> <laughs> Secret message. This guy. Oh, he, 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 look, uh, this guy is sitting in Gora Sundara. And in one year, by the mercy of Radha Rani House, 10 house he buys. <laughs> this is the servant of Radhika. He is a cook of Radhika kitchen and he buy and fix and rent it. This is the cooking in Radha Rani kitchen. Mm. If you want to grow in your material life, learn from Gaura Sundara. Yeah. You deviate him. I give you a challenge to deviate him from the sky. I got one side, I will keep it like this. Internet is worth At the same moment, but in the kitchen of mm -hmm. This is a cyber. Mm. Never deviation. I'm proud of you, my dear Gora Sundara. You are the example I can give your example. Ask me. You are so, the giver, do it. Uh, you know? You put you in know, my heart something. I, we are the, we are the cats and dogs of Radhika's home. <laughs> <laughs> 
de ti va a cansar a fradica. Krishna come, he bring all biscuit and all things what we like. First we give to us, then go to see Radhika. He cannot enter without pleasing us. <laughs> Our sadhana, Radha Das. Mm. Yeah. Explain in German to my God Sundaram what I, I Suniti. Suniti was translating the whole time. She is a kinkari, she knows your wishes without saying. <laughs> right, Anand? You agree with me, Anand? Yeah. Yes, Udi. <laughs> is your Kripa Patra? This is the this is the Radhika Dasi Kripa Patr, what Mahaprabhu gave us. I always say about Jananda, Ujjwal Rasa was there, but Mahaprabhu bring more special thing. You listen from Gauras Jananda Maharaj. What? Say, say, repeat. Your words. <laughs> so Mahaprabhu give us this Radha Dashi, Manjari Baba, Kinkari Baba. This no other age, no other incarnation given to us. So by the mercy of Rupa Ragnat and Mahaprabhu. Now we are very lucky to to attain this Manjari Baba by the mercy of our Guru Manjari. And it's called. What is the meaning of Ujjwala? No, not Ujjwala. Explain that. <laughs> Why are you are hiding here? <laughs> I don't know, good name, but uh, Ujjwa Rasa is like a Madura Rasa. Say, like, uh, maybe we may say Gopi Baba, Saki Baba. That Baba, previous age, it may have like a, like a Beda personified, Dan, Dandar Karanyas, Dandar Karanyas sage. Who see Rama Chandra and oh, I want to, I want to, I want to be wife of Ram, Rama Chandra. So they they can do this. They did. But no, Manjari Baba is nobody knows it before. Because only Manjari Baba we could taste Radharani's feeling. Which Mahaprabhu tasting. So this is very special mercy for us. So this is we want to learn from our Guru Dev. I am not you are teaching us. <laughs> I'm learning from you. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm 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 Shisha Guru Dev. I'm Shisha. <laughs> Yeah, we are on. still in the Leela, no, Gurudev. We are still in the Leela. This is yeah. not after the Leela. We are in, in the Leela. <laughs> of Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu. Nityananda. Jai Radhe. Jai Radhe. Jai Sri Please, now you're... Sorry, we are interrupting you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Gurudev, you are in very playful mood. <laughs> and at the beginning of the words, it said, Oh, Devi. <laughs> so, <laughs> Raghunath is addressing Swamini, Oh, Devi, my playful, also beautiful, shiny <laughs> Swamini. But we have another Devi also. Yes. Radha Dasi. Guru Manjari, he's, she's always playful, and we are in the in the nice sandwich <laughs> <laughs> between one Devi and another Devi. 
So then we can relish these flavors from each side, <laughs> up and down, mm. left and right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. And now it, it reminds me when uh, Kishoreji read that Prema is making Krishna dance and uh, Gorasundara gave his nice observation. Actually, Manjaris also makes Krishna dance because they are full of Mahabhava. Hmm. They are absorbed in Mahabhava. So they became Mahabhava. Hmm. And they are making Krishna dance because he is running after them. He is asking them, please help me to meet my Swamini. So what does it mean then dancing around Manjaris? Hmm. Yeah. 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 So this is the flavors which are always coming and pervading all the Raj. And uh, now I remember one thing, Gorasundara, when you asked why Radhika is spitting out water. Oh, like something come to me actually that this is not ordinary water. Manjuris are very expert in service and they are putting different spices, spices yeah, in the water. So when she is drinking this water and washing the uh, mouth, she is also tasting pastimes with Krishna, which remembers her with these different flavors, mm -hmm. like incenses yeah. are full of flavors and they are remembering that so this are, are the flavors in the water but it's not the end this is not the end radhika is uh, splashing. splashing spitting yeah yeah spitting this because she is very merciful to her manjaris hmm. They will collect <laughs> this water and they will drink this Amrita. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 I can feel every word is a deep, deep meaning. And for this, I always like to ask what, mm. what is behind this? <laughs> there is not only that to put out some water mm -hmm. or what. Okay, yeah. Okay. I, I was just relishing so much uh, this uh, past time now and um, but, uh, a, a few uh, flavors came to me, which I just wanted to share before I lose them. Because if you share, then this feeling can reciprocate, right? So, Gora it's Sundar, growing, more growing, more growing, yeah. So then it grows. So, so now thinking, wow, what is this Leela is all about? Showing the importance of prashad. <laughs> Our Guru Dev is always stressing, take prashad, you know, take some prashad. And I mostly say, no, Guru Dev, I'm ready for thank you. But he pushes, you know, because what Gorasundar said, the Leela is inside this prashad. There's so many bhavs, as Goranga Sundar was in Gora Sundar and the Kishore Didi was reading. It's so filled with Leela. And then Gora Sundar, you said something which just like hit me like a flashing light now is that everything which happens in the daytime is a preparation for the nighttime. Mm. So when Radharani goes to cook for Krishna every day to Mother Yashoda's kitchen, she already practices Abhisar with her dasis, with her mantras. They already walk the path. So she's mm. already in that, that eagerness to maybe get a glimpse of him, same time he's waiting to see her when she arrives at the gate of the house of Nanda Baba. 
when she goes to the kitchen, she has to take off all her ornaments, right? She already has mm -hmm. to wear very her uh, very simple. Her blouse is a little open. Her sweat drops from her uh, face are coming down because it's very hot in the kitchen, right? And the mandries are helping her to prepare. Our everything from the wind and what happens next the manjaris they can see him looking through the window and then he does like this don't, don't tell her that she has one more moment let me relish the vision of my Devi, and rather not notice her opening, you know, full of light and full of mo emotions, preparing the, the tasty prasad for him. And then what Gora Sundar said, and then when they taste it, you know, they exchange information for the evening time, for the night time where to meet. So actually, mm -hmm. this meditation, often I was thinking, why to meditate on the daytime, Lilas, you know, we want to, we want to be active in the night. But today, Gorasundar, you made it clear for me, thank you so much, that actually, yeah. this, this prasadam uh, is exactly the preparation for the night time. Rather, rather. Go Pinag, one more, one thing more. Yeah, <laughs> yes. It is Krishna when he is watching through the window. This is not only to see his Swamini. He likes to know what will happen in the nighttime. Then he is checking the ingredients. <laughs> so he cannot wait. He cannot wait to taste it. And he is so eager. <laughs> Can you imagine this? He's yeah. like a spy in his own job, in, in his, his own, own house. In his own house. <laughs> he likes to check what is the preparing of this for this, what will happen in nighttime. Yeah? So this is very, very special what there happened. Uh, this is uh, <clears throat> was heißt Spannung? excitement, tension, tension. The teaser. Yeah. And now remember when Gurudev received. The grain of rice from his guru mm. Dev oh, wow. on Ekadashi. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> wow. Then the mercy of Prashad. So we should always honor Prashad, right? We learned this from the beginning. Honor Prashadam. Wow. So we have to honor Prashad. Rather than... Wow. No guru Dev. about Prashadam. We are waiting for you. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, not Purna. Yeah. Yeah. It's not Purna. It's not Purna. You yeah. share than Purna. <laughs> yeah. I'm not qualified, but I'm very thanks to you all because uh, uh, today's now just uh, uh, Gopinath Baya said many very inspiration and realization come. And actually, in this world, like uh, um, between wife and husband, when husband eat cooking by wife, then husband understand, oh, my wife is now today is happy mood, or my wife is today angry mood, some tired or too much, <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> From this experience, definitely we understand Prasadam had definitely Baba. Just ah. more yeah, <laughs> so nice. help to our meditation. And uh, one thing more oh. all day, just uh, Gorasunda Prabhu said, all Lila is pre preparation tonight. Then this uh, morning arati time, what happened? This peak time, happiest time, then separation come. This moment is most intense love. I feel it. 
Thank you so much, Gerard. माता जी आएंगे तुम्हारी जो दादी थी ना उनके गुरु भाई गुरु भाई Rade, rade. Puedo ¿Cómo? compartir sentimiento, ah, ah. Guru. She, she oh, likes to share one feeling. Yes. Prima, Prima I'm coming now to the meeting with Jananda Maharaj. Prima. Yeah. Hey, Sorry. Gurudev dice que Jayananda Maharaj va a estar en India y tú también vas a venir. Eh, será un honor, estoy muy ansiosa por llegar a beber del alimento no. sagrado de rana. I am so anxious already to come it will be such an honor to come to this holy land el sentimiento que tengo she has one feeling that she wants to share yeah, es que sí. Krishna le entrega su remanente arada my feeling is that Krishna is giving his remnants to Radharani. Y eso hace que Radha sienta tanta felicidad de su remanente que salta más su amor. <laughs> And that makes Radharani feel so much happiness to receive his remnants that her love increases so much more yeah yes yeah, si nada entrega más potente ese prasad a las manjaris and because of this radharani will give this remnants to her manjaris even more yeah. with even more feeling y ese prasad lo recibe mi guru de Yeah. And my Gurudev receives this prasadam from Radharani. Y Gurudev se salta más de felicidad y locura por recibir su prasadam. And my Gurudev becomes more happy and more mad to become to to receive this prasadam. Y así Gurudev entrega a estas chiquitas ese dulce prasadam. Más exaltado. Yeah. And because of this happiness and ecstasy that Gurudev received from the Prashadam, he becomes so happy he wants to share and he gives this to his tiniest, smallest followers to make them no. happy. No. Yeah. Y recibimos con mucho, mucho amor su prasada. Y se vuelve tan loco que no tenemos otra forma sino repartir ese amor. And we 
become so mad from receiving this prashadam from our Gurudev that we have no idea about anything anymore. We are completely mad and we are only feeling that we are part of this love. Wow. Así que quiero recibir tu prashadam, my Gurudev. So please, Gurudev, give me your prashadam. <laughs> Yes, yeah. 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 You know, Jananda Maharaj, Loranga, she is making mad in South America by his. <laughs> she is only giving love to everyone. Prema, Prema, Prema. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see her. She is coming with the group, bhai. Jai, Jai Ho. Jai Ho. Jai Ho. We love you, Prema. Yes. I love you, Prema Maharaj. Tu dulzura me mantiene también todo el tiempo y la dulzura de todos ustedes. Gracias. The, sweet, the sweetness of you, Gurudev, and of all of you, are keeping me alive every day. Oh, Thank yeah. you.